now our tail of the tape for this welterweight All right guys, welcome back to the so last UFC Fight Night 148 Fighter Showcase. We are using Steven Wonderboy Thompson, who is the star of the show. And we're facing Jorge Masvidal, of course, with Steven Thompson. It's all about the kickboxing. It's kind of late right now, so I do apologize if I'm speaking in a low tone of voice. Let's see if I can get close to this mic a little bit. But um, with Steven Thompson, it's all about kickboxing but it's also a specific style of kickboxing of course it's the karate style of kickboxing which depends on a lot of timing a lot of outside fighting a lot of sidekicks and uh, keeping things as clean as possible the karate fighter is not really interested in exchanging with you he's not interested in a battle of will with you he's mostly interested in a battle of patience you know the point fighting style so we're going to see if we can implement that style today with Steven. See what we can do. Now I do like this. This is a championship fight. So this is going to give us a lot of time to work. You know, and we'll see what we can do. Faint with that punch, fainting with that kick. Masvidal Stab him in the body the right there, the and we exit. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he is throw and exit. Don't hang around in the pocket. And of course, I'm gonna try to fight this man with both stances. And this is a this is a bit of a chest battle. Let's see, here. see if we can confuse him a little bit. Switching stances here. We're not gonna care how uneasy the crowd is becoming we're going to not we're not going to steer away from the game plan we're going to keep it clean now the mistake this man is making already that i can i can already tell is he's trying to play the same game i'm playing he's trying to play the karate point point fight style of game you know that i'm playing right now with wonder boy and uh Catch him right there. That is the wrong way to approach it. Do that. Do that. There we go. I thought he was going to try to take me down right there. It's okay. We're not exchanging. We're not exchanging. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. And I try to keep that in mind. When they when they start throwing, I kind of just let Thompson them throw. Even if he's like landing, you just kind of accept it a little bit. Last thing you want to do is start start to exchange because then vulnerability comes into play. Once they start throwing, immediately focus on defense. And only throw when you have an opening to throw. Attempt, it is blocked by Huge right. uppercut misses. Forty five seconds to go. This is not the way. This is not the way to deal with Wonder Boy, I tell you right now. And I I all I'm gonna ask you guys, all I'm gonna ask, you know, don't start to get, to don't, around. don't, don't start to get bored. Just, just hang in there with me. Hang in there with me, guys. I am going to stop this man. I promise you that. Just hang in there with me. And now, what we're gonna do? Okay, he's starting to get frustrated, which is exactly what we want. That's what we want while using Wonder Boy. See that? Like I said, it's not a battle of will. It's not a battle of power or a battle of speed. It's a battle of patience. That's the karate style. That's the way. It's a battle of patience. It's about seeing who's going to make the first mistake. About who's who's going to get frustrated first. That's where Wonder Boy capitalizes. He steps into that cage and he's not the most powerful guy. He's not the fastest guy in there. And honestly speaking, like when you take a look at his his striking skill wise, he's not the He's not the most technical karate fighter you've ever seen in the whole entire world, but he tr what he tries to do is test how patient you can be in there. 
And uh, if you're if you can't match his patience, if you know you can't match his patience, then you need to fight him a different style. You need to implement Muay Thai and the grappling. But if you try to go point for point with there we go. You try to go point for point with Wonder Boy. Able to land to the body there with the left not, this dude's getting really frustrated. Look at him. Starting to get to him. Look at that. Stab him again and exit. This is the game right here. This is the game. That's the Wonder Boy experience. Now, I don't know if you guys remember when he fought Rory McDonald. I actually thought Rory was going to. <laughs> it's mad. He is so frustrated right now. Stab him. I thought Rory was going to approach that fight a different way, but when I saw Rory go in there and try to play the same game that Wonder Boy was playing, I was like, oh my god, bro. This is not going to work out for you, bro. And it didn't. Good punch. It didn't. It was a five round, I believe it was a five round fight. Wonder Boy won every single round, if I remember correctly. Look at this. Oh my goodness. He tagged him. Nasty combinations here. Well, a really good there we go. Now that you're doing that, you're going to open yourself up to get rocked or something. Here in round two. It's a double-edged sword. The only guy that was really able to fight Wonder Boy with that kind of style was Darren Till. Even Tyron Woodley didn't exactly... I mean, Tyron was trying to mix in grappling as well. But Darren really fought Wonder Boy's style and beat him at it. Joke. And he lands the roundhouse. 90 seconds now. Around Let him. Two. Let him. Let him throw. He lands an no exchange. Oh, there we go. With the straight, nice job there no, no. Thompson. We're not exchanging. <laughs> Got you where I want you, big boy. It's going to go downhill from here. Showing him that, showing him that lead leg. Come in, come in. There we go. Send him right back to, to where he started from. Fainting with that kick. Just misses there with the left. Nice punch there. Hang in there, hang in there with me, guys. Hang in there with me. Whether it's the fifth round or the fourth round, he's rocked. Nice combination by Thompson. There we go. There we go. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hang in there with me. Hang in there. Unless he switches things up and starts to grapple right now, he's going to get stopped. And I'm going to stop him emphatically. This is not me trying to brag. It's just I've fought this kind of fight so many times using Wonder Boy. And I can already predict how it's going to end. I can predict how it's going to end. I'm going to I'm going to stop him. I'm going to stop him. Probably going to be the 5th round or something. Take a look at that depending on how angle. he approaches it, but He's going to get stopped. Jenny Andrade to get us going. And I'm kind of curious to see how Anthony Pettis is going to approach this fight. I mean, some tells me he's going to go out there and make the same mistake. He's going to go out there and try to point fight with Wonder Boy, and I just think that's a terrible idea. But then again, what do I know? He's starting to march forward a little bit. There we go. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is he's throwing some pretty clean spins to the body, though. I like those shots he's throwing. No. And now he starts to blitz him a little bit. Where's my blitz? No, it's the straight left straight. Where is it? Take a step back. Went for the head kick. Big knee. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight. 
good, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches Ooh. it. And <laughs> that was close. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh, where's my blitz? Come in, come in. Oh no, he's slipping it. There we go. There's my blitz. Boom, boom. On his back. It's over. And that's how it's done. That is it. That is it. He approached. He approached the fight the wrong way. He just. He did. I mean, it's. You're just not gonna. You're not gonna beat a good Wonder Boy like that. You, it's just not gonna happen. His, his striking is too good. Striking is too good. He has so many tools to allow him to play this game all day long. And I am also a very patient player. I can, I can play like this all day long. So, anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. Be right back. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here. Now our tail of the tape for this welterweight champion. We're facing Pryoxis, man. Like, I'm running. I just ran into this man, and I had no idea that he was, uh, I had no idea he was streaming. When I noticed I ran into him, I <laughs> looked at him. He, he, was, he was streaming. I really don't like running into these players when they're streaming the game. Because then it kind of looks like, I don't know, like I'm sniping him or something. And that's that's not the case. But, um, of course, Pryaxis is an elite, elite player. Especially when it comes to Rafael Dos Anjos. He's probably the best Rafael Dos Anjos in the whole entire game, honestly. He's so, so lethal with this character. So, this is going to be a good test. And it's going to be a good fight for you guys to watch let's see if i can stop this man and he shoots <laughs> you see that see the difference right away yep that's amanda knows oh shit! i went the wrong way Nah, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be this quick, bro. No way. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Rafael Dos Anjos. Moves to half guard. Full mount. Hip escape. <sighs> Hands are sweaty. Nice Missing these denies. Come on. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here there we by go. Boy Thompson. Lands a punch. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Good shot to the body. No. He's trying to pry his way out of this half guard now. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Tom. Vicious ground and pound from half guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by Dos Anjos. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Big body punch. Dos Santos gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. We'll see how good his striking is. Then again, he's kind of put the threat of the takedown in my mind right now. Well, he but right into that straight punch too, yeah, I can still piece him up a little bit. Good sting on it. Inside leg kick is there by Odia. Watch the shot to the body. Yeah, it's a very... Okay. All right. I like the way he mixed that up here. I'd compare him to like Romero. Showing that punch. A little bit of Heem the Dream. Gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Uh. A little bit of myself too. Kind of like the footsie. You see the footsies? He's doing a good job with the leg kicks too. 
the breeze there. Joe Rogan swinging a miss by Thompson. We're stabbing him a little bit, nice though. To the body. Checking that right there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their He's not going to win this fight if he stands with me. I'll tell you that right now. He was he was doing a good job of mixing things up, but I I think he's I think he's trying to play mind games. He's he's gonna get me comfortable with striking and then he's gonna take me down. I think that's the goal. So I've identified just two threats. One is the leg kick. Rafael Dos Anjos has um pretty nasty leg kicks in this game, so he's working that and he's also threatening with takedowns. So let's see what let's see what his game plan is I can't imagine he's just going to strike as I can't imagine that looking to establish the jab here nicely done by Thompson counters with a big game pieced up now good shit good shit I didn't think so switching stances here now tripling up on the jet well, no one's going to accuse him of being a headhunter here tonight. You see the stats bottom of the screen in terms of the body strikes landed. And those are really starting to pile up now. And Joe, you got to think a lot of damage has been done as well. So perhaps you get an attritive knockout here late in the fight. We'll see. But the body work has been on point here tonight. Absolutely. Trying to go to the body here. Yep. Unable to find the target. Back southpaw now. <laughs> Well, try to know, try to see how many different ways of getting takedowns this man is gonna go for. You know, for those of you that always complain about not being able to get takedowns, you you can see he, he has already tried three different ways of getting takedowns. In round one, he used the cage. In this round, he is using the whiff takedowns. He's also using lunge takedowns. I suspect he's also going to start going for hit reaction takedowns very shortly. Wonder Boy gets stung by that leg kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. Dude, I'm out. I'm I'm winning this round right now with the striking. Kind of curious why he's content just standing. Dos Anjos gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid Good shit. that right hand. <laughs> oh, Good shit. Right he swayed, and I thought he was going to throw a strike. Tries to pass, but he went for a takedown. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. No. By Dos no. No. Looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Half guard. In half guard. Dos Anjos grounded down from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Big punch from the bottom. He's trying to submit me. Nice punch to the body. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you no. can't throw off that. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Right hand on point. He's moved to full guard. Big punch from the bottom. He's landing uh, some okay. vicious combinations. I think that was my round. I like that. I like the strike in there. Yeah, my corner approves. Yeah, I'm liking I'm liking Here's the kickboxing. Nice Definitely liking the kickboxing. I I can feel I can feel a small advantage on the feet. Just a small advantage on the lands. feet versus him. But Big round. I think overall I think overall he's better. Because he's doing a few things that I'm not used to seeing. Especially when it comes to securing takedowns. I mean, I'm, I know what he's doing. I'm just not used to seeing it. Really not. Unless I'm playing, like, Adveda, Unibot, you know, like the top 10 guys on PS4. Good shit. Look at that. See that right there? That's the hit reaction takedown. I need to I need to pay attention to that more. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. This man came to PS4, and he's playing... He's Excellent doing really well. Transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Tries to pass here, but gets All right, shut down. we out. 
We yeah. Perfectly executed sweep, and he's right in the side control. Going orthodox now. Also, he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues yeah, late to kicks be vulnerable by and the leaning, threat and of the takedown. On the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. The half a yellow dos Anjos way. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, he just continues to land with a and high he goes for the cage takedown. Like All right, bro. I gave you the first one. Not anymore. He is not slowing down whatsoever. He's tagging oh, here. come on, ref. Let him work. And there comes the separation what now. the hell is up with these separations, man? Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe. But as good yet, job, he's bro. been unable to string together any solid combinations. And that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see <laughs> if he can change up Tricks, the tricks, tricks. With his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Just, well, I, really I, I slowly to start to get comfortable the with the striking. And boom, he shoots. Uh-huh. I knew he was going to shoot right there. Constantly a moving target. Beautiful. Got that Tiny one. With the left hand. And now starting to snap off that jab. You going to shoot right here? These are some bombs he is throwing. No. Now he's going to strike. Pretty nice leg kick there, Joe. Good work on the feet by Dos Anjos. Showing that punch. Good job. Dosanios really has a nice takedown game. Can take you down from the outside in the clinch. Has a lot of different ways to get his opponent on the canvas. <laughs> John Anik. I know. I know, John. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was just talking about right now. No, sir. I just, I don't want to take damage on the ground. No. I don't want you submitting me either. Oh, and now an elbow up top by Dos Anjos. And he landed the right hand there. In half guard. Good shit. Oh, now going to the elbow. Nicely done there by Ortiz. I'm out of there. Big body punch. He's not quite the denying dingo. He's a... Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I, I'd, des I'd describe him as Dos Anjos. That's just, you know, and this is, that's why I love this game, man. It's like you run into certain players who have mastered a, a specific character. And a lot of times, the way they fight, the way they approach the game is how that character would actually fight. Like, this is what you expect from Dos Anjos. Like, he can get takedowns with a, a lot of different ways, but he's not quite a GSB. You know, his top game is not quite a GSP's top game. It's not quite Damian Maya's top game. You know what I mean? But, but he can mix things up really well. Like, if you watch his fight versus Pettis, that shows you a really good example of what Dos Anjos is capable of. I do feel he can be outgrappled, though, as demonstrated by Kamaru Usman, Colby Covington. We'll see who's the and of course, Habib. To begin this fourth of a possible five round. If you attack well, him in that area as well. Missed. And this is what has always made Stephen Thompson so special. Pretty good jab there, Joe. Well, if you're going to leave your body that slowly wide, getting comfortable, pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Which means oh, the takedown is going to come anytime. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, Hit him hard. There we go. That hook, Joe. Starting to land now. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Nicely executed sweep. Winds up in guard. Oh, good left hand. Thompson going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Big shot from the bottom. I really don't want to. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Good shot. 
All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, he connects there. It appears he's going to attack with a submission. Yep, here he goes. He's got the leg over the shoulder. Now, he's gonna pull down on his shin. And he's out. Dos Anjos is all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna Oh, I forgot he had that. Good shot to the body. No. He's trapped in half guard here. Joe doing a nice job here staying busy. See, all this grappling is really starting to take a take its toll on my fighter. I'm starting to starting to wilt a little bit. I mean not me. I'm good. It's just my character starting to lose stamina. He's, he's spending a lot of time on his back and although I'm not taking a lot of damage and I'm able to deny him and all that you don't want to add the ref doing what the hell they do best separating fights when they shouldn't be my bad bro my bad Ten seconds to go in round four. Twenty minutes down. Good round. That was his round. That was his round. We got one more round to go. I can I can already feel I can feel Steven Thompson wilted. Come on, Steven, you can do it. Amazing highlights You can do it, buddy. But yeah, this is this is how you approach a fight versus Steven Thompson, man. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. You shouldn't go out there and just strike with him. It's not a good idea. Nothing there. I'm trying to push him, but gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. Hats off to you, man. Hats off to you. It was fucking beast, bro. Big a fucking beast. Punch. Excellent punch. No. He's looking to pass. Oh, he gets reversed. Oh, powerful. The fact that I keep getting back up doesn't matter. Look at my fighter. You know what I mean? This is my stamina does not get this low. But it has been a grindy five round fight so far. My head is kind of damaged too. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Wonder Boy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those two. Joe, you had to like that up. These guys are swinging. Yeah, look at my head too. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Ah, oh, good shit. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. He's got hurt here. <laughs> Joe. This is the greatest thing I ever seen. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. He's just picking him apart. Nice leg kick. He hurt him with that hook. I don't know if he's gonna shoot or not. Like I'm, nice job. I'm just confused right now. I don't know if he's gonna shoot he's or if he's gonna try to strike with me till the round here. ends. I don't know. He's keeping his head protected that, here. That that had to that, that has to be a rock. What the hell? Really? Oh come on. Y'all don't give me a rock on that one. Okay. What a leg kick. Oh. He blocks the punch. Well he's Oh what? He's gotta be careful here. Look at this. Take down. My uppercut I mean his uppercut exchanging with my straight like that. That's the worst nose I've seen since Rich Franklin's first fight with Anderson Silva. All right. Yeah, he won the fight. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good work. Good work. All right, so this one goes the distance. He nearly had the finish at times. His ground and pound on full display here tonight.
and I think that was really the key in this fight. It should be enough to get him a win by unanimous hmm. decision. Interesting, two, interesting comment section. Okay. I see y'all. I see y'all. Anyways, this is it. Three, I'm pretty sure he won the fight. Um, pretty sure it was a unanimous decision. But again, again, this is how you approach Stephen Thompson. I like this because the first fight shows you how not to approach Stephen Thompson. And the second fight shows you how to approach Stephen Thompson. So, in the classic Stephen Thompson way, I am about to lose a decision, right? Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 50 and 48-47. 50-45, damn. By unanimous decision, and still... All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, people. I will see you guys later with a new video. As always, stay safe. Have a wonderful day. undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world this was a title fight that really had it all and again we've said it before we will say it again it is going to take a Herculean effort to defeat